Hey everyone, I'm Merrick, and we're back in the Darkest Dungeon, and it's a terrible, terrible time. So we're going broke. Just about everybody is stressed out. And... Yeah, the last couple of missions were just god-awful. We did have Renald and Damas level up, and we got ourselves a Grave Digger Kiri here. Not saying that correctly, but anyways. She has a minus 10% stress heal and 20% uh, scouting chance on the Warrens. We also got some really bad traits. Uh, slow reflexes and prone to stealing. And then Damas has a torn rotator cuff, so the melee damage that he does is, is down and Digby became a bad gambler and is really prone to just running off on delusional quests. It should only stress relief with flagellation. And when her health is low, she gets minus speed. So, you know, it's just overall a really bad time. That being said, let's check the uh, good old cart and see if we got somebody that we want to trade out. Let's see, but God here. This shuffle, well, only gamble. Some decent stuff there. K lot. There we go. Wouldn't let me click on him. Obsessed with sainthood. Severe fear of enclosed spaces. That's not going to be too helpful in the warrens or dungeons. Let's stress them out some more. Another grave robber. Uh, grave robber Altard. Minus two speed when light is low, and we'll only pray. Uh, you know, I think I'm interested in switching our occultist out. I actually really like the occultist, but he's really high stress, and we can't afford to de-stress anybody. So we're going to send the occultist packing, since he's a level zero, and bring in... We're gonna bring in probably Bagad here. What better laboratory than the blood soaked battlefield? I don't think we can do any updating. Let's see here. Mm, can't afford to upgrade anybody. I think I made a mistake in upgrading Renaud so early. I think it really cost us extra in the long run. So that might have been a short-term mistake. Oh, we can upgrade the cloister. We can upgrade the penance hall. We don't want to do anything in the sanitarium because that costs gold, so we can't do much in there. And of course, we can upgrade the tavern. But I think what we'll do is we'll we'll save what we've got and just go ahead and embark on a mission. Let's see what happens, I guess. I'm a little concerned with what options we have. We've got a short mission, 100% of the room battles. So I think we'll take take Dudley and Pakiri and Bagod and I'm not comfortable not having a heal, so I think we'll take Digby and see if we can't level Digby up. I know Digby has some serious stress and some really bad negative traits, but I think it'll be alright. She'll probably wind up having a resolve test it, then won't be able to go back out. But we can handle that. Okay, so... Pikiri here likes to be in the second position, and Bagad here likes to be in the third or fourth position. So I think we've got the order in a nice state, and I think everybody will be alright. So let's uh, go ahead and provision up. We'll take a little bit of food. We'll take enough to eat twice, and a shovel, and ten torches. 
And then we're going to save the rest of our money because we don't have very much of it. We really need to give some people stress relief, especially after this mission we'll need to. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line? Not a terrible layout. Let's see if we can skip this middle room here by doing a loop around and maybe avoid some backtracking. Oh, early combat's never good. We didn't get a surprise off, so let's see if we can do a stun on this bloodletter here. And he resisted, of course. He got a 50% chance to resist, but that's all we had for an option. A little blanket fire badness. Good dodge. Way to go, Digby. Okay, so we've got a thrown dagger, which can hit any one of these people. It'll do a 4 to 7 chance. And we can do a shadow fade, which will bring her back one, or pick to the face. Which pick to the face might not be bad. 4 to 7 damage. Um, she does have a chance to cure herself of a blight or bleed, which is nice, and bust her dodge. I think we'll do a um, thrown dagger on the uh, cutthroat brigand. Let's take five damage and yeah, a nice little buff. We'll go straight chop on the bloodletter since we don't really have an option. Let's see if we can damage down this little beefy dude. And let's see if we can shuffle him back. Hey, he resisted the move. That's all right though. Quickly the tide turns. Starting off with a crit and a push to stress everybody out. It's really not how I wanted to start this this little run here. So we'll buff her dodge and have her slide back and reshuffle our party without um, having to move. And we're definitely going to heal our leper because 22 damage straight away is is rough. We'll go for straight damage. I think after we kill the butt letter, we'll we'll buff um, his protection and heal uh, stress. I mean, Let's see if we can't do a shuffle. I probably should go with blinding gas and see if we can't stun instead of just trying to shuffle him around because it does take him out of range and it looks like he can hit from these further back positions and I'm not enjoying that. Let's see, we've got a... No, we don't really have a chance to kill unless she crits. We've got a chance to kill slightly... slightly... Uh, a little bit of a chance to kill on the blood letter, so we'll go for that. Six damage. It's hoping for a crit to kill, but we can... We can take him out pretty easily with a uh, plague grenade if it hits. There we go. That blight will take him out. I'll take that dodge. And we'll go ahead and throw down another heal. We didn't bring any bandages, so that kind of sucks. And not only do we shuffle back, but Bigod here doesn't have any kind of um, buffer move. Basically, he's a damage person. A victory, perhaps the turning point. So he's just gonna have to bleed a little bit unless he has a um, a heal. No, he doesn't have a heal. So we're just gonna go straight damage on the cutthroat, and he dodges, of course, because this game really does hate us. We're gonna lower. The Fusilier's dodge. See if we can't stack some damage too. In Radiance, may we find victory. He resisted the, the debuff, but he does have two life left, so if we can't kill him off, the uh, blight will. See if we can get a blight on, on the uh, cutthroat as well. That'll definitely help us out. All in all, I think this Rest is going fairly well. Give them no quarter. Pick to the face to finish it off. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. 
a singular strike. All right, that wasn't too bad. We've taken some shitty damage, but that's to be expected, I think. Got a nice little scouting chance, or, or a map, I'm sorry. No combat in this room, but a combat in the room we wanted to skip. So what I think we'll, we'll do is backtrack and head down to the room we were going to skip and skip the room we were going to go to and use our shovel. And that should be a good use of our time. I don't mind backtracking if it's something that turns out to be useful. Let's see, what do we get? Oh, armor weaponsmith, or amateur weaponsmith. I really like that because it's now cheaper to upgrade his weapons. The match is struck. So that's a, a good perk to get. Star is born. Reading books is always frightening because you never know if it's going to be some just wildly devastating trait. And as we've learned earlier, burning books is probably the worst thing you can do. Alright. So we've got a trap coming up. We'll have to see who's good at actually disarming these things. Let's see here. 10% trap disarm. 40%. The god is shit at it. And shit. Okay, so Pikiri here is going to try to disarm the trap. Ah, good job, Pikiri. Of course, it's stressed her out. So, you know, that's always nice. We'll get some good loot. Packs laden with loot are often low on supplies. Oh, we have plenty of supplies. Don't you worry, Mr. Narrator Ghost. Got a little bit of combat, another blood letter, cut through it, fusilier combo. Go for a heal. That clutch three points will help. Alright, let's see here. What do we want to do? Pick to the face does four to seven. Thrown dagger does the same with which one has a better chance of hitting? This one has an eighty-eight percent chance to hit. A ninety-seven percent or ninety percent chance to hit uh, the blood letter, but I think we'll go with the brigand. Ah, I would have appreciated a little bit more damage, but we'll take it. Good dodges and punishment. Death oh. waits. He wasn't kidding about punishment. Jesus. In concentration. Okay, let's uh, go for a double stun. See if we can land that, that'd be nice. Very nice. We already propped that stun, but we can handle that. So I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and buff our leper here, Dudley. Give him a little bit of damage resist. And another pick to the face. Confidence oh yeah, as the enemy I love crumbles. a good crit. I think everybody does, but that stress relief really is what I'm happy about. Digby, heal thyself. At five is really nice to have. Well, let's hope we don't all get bleed. We just about all got bleed. Fantastic. Alright, let's get some Noxious Blast going on, see if we can't get a little damage over time. Nice, nice. And oh, beautiful blow. crit, Dudley! Rejecting that name, showing us you actually have some skills. Let's get rid of that bleed. And it looks like we'll probably get that bleed. Oh, the crit, really? About to break. Oh, the stress. And the Mortality stuff clarified in a single strike. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? I think what we'll do is buff you again because the blood letter won't be able to attack. And dig me here with heal thyself. And let's go with Let's go with a plate grenade on the back. And we missed. Fantastic. I should have checked for the chance to hit on that, but 
that's all right. Everybody dodged. And he gets to go again, seriously? Such a terrible assault. And of course he crits. Unanswered. Oh, that stress. That stress is such bullshit. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. That's right, it doesn't. Let's kill this bastard Moseon. But God, you're you're really not Injury encouraging me to heal yourself. Or to heal you. For heroism or cowardice. Oh, these bleeds. Good job, Dudley. These bleeds are rough though. This expedition at least promises Ooh, we got a bandage. Success. Let's put that on Dudley. We've got some hidden hidden treasures. I'll take that. And let's see here. Pop a torch and As head the on light down. gains purchase, spirits are lifted and purpose is made clear. Everybody eat, get a little bit of health back. Get ready to pop another torch after we use the shovel. Glad I bought at least Even one shovel. The cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Our light's nice and high, and here we go. All right. Oh, I hate the arbalists. They do so much bullshit damage. Uh, Dudley, heal yourself. I want you as far away from death's door as we can get you, which probably doesn't matter because he's probably gonna crit. Let's see, called it. And on death's door. on the brink, facing the abyss. Shut up, Dudley. We'll survive this. Stop whining like a little bitch. We'd survive better if you had a dodge. Uh, let's see, we've got a 80% chance, 4 to 7. 80% chance. 90% chance to hit one of these guys in the front. 4 to 7. 10% chance to crit. Let's go for this on the Bone Soldier. 4 damage. Why are you rolling minimums? Jesus, people. Can't you see we're getting our ass kicked? 10% uh, chance to stun, 80% chance to hit. Let's go for that, see if we can get a double stun. Okay, that'll save us from some of their bullshit damage. The Arbalists, freaking hate them. And we'll go for a chop on the Bone Soldier. One down, one million to go, I guess. This oh, is are no you fucking kidding me? Foolhardy. A kill shot? Just straight kill shot. Are you serious? Oh, this game. This game just breaks my heart. Sure. Hey, now you're getting damage after one of your friends dies and our only healer. Oh, it's such horseshit. Go for the damage, or for the DPS. Oh, I'm so discouraged. Oh, we are not going to survive this. Go for the kill. Uh, D Dudley. You were such an asshole. Yep. Welcome to Death's Door, Dudley. Maybe if you wouldn't miss so much, you wouldn't be such a useless shit. Let's see if we can't get a stun on this Arbalist. Save our, ourselves a little bit of damage. Okay, mace, or pick to the face. Go for the kill. Roll a minimum, and then we can just keep doing this. That's fantastic. He is going to die, so we're going to take out the Bone Ravel. Oh yeah, I get a little stress relief because you, you killed somebody with one life left. Beautiful. This game just makes my brain so sad. Good job. Yeah, good dodge, Dudley. Good job too, but the you're still the beast. The greater the glory. You're still not my favorite person right now. But God, nice 
high damage roll. Can you kill him? Thank you. So we lost Digby already. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. An heirloom chest. Yay, the contents are ours. So we're gonna get the hell out of here because Dudley's got one hit point left and we've got no healer. We've lost Digby. I actually really like Digby too, so that makes me really sad. Room by room, hall by hall, we reclaim what is ours. But we got six, 6,300 gold, which is really nice. Alright, Dudley, what do you got for us? Lurker. Oh, nice little low light buff. I'll take that. Digby's dead, so... Digby is our first fallen hero. I remember days when the sun shone. And laughter could be heard from the tavern. Let's go visit her in her resting place. An apprentice festal met their end against a bone arbalist. Fucking bone arbalists. Oh, but we do have Ten the nomad weapon. Charms gathered from all the forgotten corners of the earth. Nice stuff. Very cool. Ooh, and we got this. At home in wild places, she is a stalwart survivor and a strict instructor. So we got the survivalist and the nomad wagon. The survivalist will teach us camping skills, and the nomad wagon will sell us crap. I don't know if we can sell the stuff, the trinkets that we have. We'll have to see if we can do that one day. But let's see what we can get to replace Digby here. Um. Don't really want another another plague doctor or another leper, so we'll just have to wait. And we're not doing too well, but we can afford to put Morton somewhere, somewhere cheap, hopefully. Um, maybe there's a cheaper place in the tavern for her. Yeah. Alright, so we can get a little bit of stress relief going on for some of these these lovely people. Monahue here. Let's hope that he can pray because that's... There we go. That's all we really can afford. I think we will get... I think actually that'll be it. We'll go out next in the next video with Reynald, Damas, and a couple of other people, maybe Mayor Scott, and see if we can't bring in some some fresh meat, maybe another another Vestal here in order to give us some more healing. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it, but I did not enjoy the, the round we had because we just got wrecked and lost one of our our special beloved characters, Digby here. So if you did enjoy this video, leave a like. Uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.